Yo, what's up guys? Jared Teller from To Stay In Shape. All right, so in this video, I want to explain to you the two top things that you need to worry about in order to get a six pack, all right? I've been receiving so many comments and questions about how to get a six pack and how their current routine it isn't working for them to get a six pack, all right? So if you want to learn how to get a six pack, all right, the guaranteed way to get a six pack, stay tuned. Now, the first thing that you need to worry about in order to just lose weight, all right? Because see, we all have a six pack, all right? This six pack that you see here was always here. The only problem was that there was fat covering it so you couldn't see it, all right? You guys have a six pack, but you just can't see it because there's a layer of fat that's covering it, all right? So the first thing that you need to do is obviously you need to lose weight, all right? And the best way to lose weight is through your diet all right i said this plenty plenty of times your diet your diet your diet your diet is the number one thing that you need to be concerned about that influence your weight okay now when i say diet i mean the types of foods that you consume in your body all right the types of foods that you should be consuming all right is low calorie foods all right with high nutritional content all right so obviously this is foods such as vegetables all right fruits okay nuts all right just all organic foods i know it's hard because you're used to the cookies you're used to the cake and the brownies and and that um cheese burger at mcdonald's and the mcdoubles and so forth because i was all right but if you want to lose weight you have to change your mindset you have to start eating healthier all right so for example your breath um so for example, your breakfast should consist of like say oatmeal with bananas, all right? Oatmeal is high in fiber, all right? Fiber helps you to um, stay regular in the bathroom. So it releases toxins and feces from your body. So that helps you to lose weight. Since oatmeal has a high content of fiber, it helps you to stay full longer, all right? So you won't be craving food for a long period of time. So that helps you to lose weight too, okay? The bananas, um, they have a high amount of potassium, okay? And also fiber. Those two foods are high in nutritional value. Now, for lunch, you can have, say, brown rice, uh, fish, and vegetables, like, say, carrots and broccoli, okay? Fish has a high amount of omega-3 fatty acids, which helps you to um, maintain your nails, your skin, your eyes, your hair, everything on your body okay and uh, brown rice has a high amount of fiber and I just explained to you the importance of fiber and the carrots and um, broccoli has a high amount of fiber too also it has a high amount of vitamin A vitamin C it has B vitamins it has um, just a lot of um, nutrition that you need for your daily activities and you can see that most of these foods contains fiber and fiber helps you to stay full longer so you, you won't have the cravings to eat all the time okay and also fiber helps you to stay regular in the bathroom like I said earlier so fiber is very important to make sure that it maintain your cravings okay and for dinner you could have say um, you, you could have two chicken drums all right um, sweet potatoes and some vegetables too sweet potatoes is very high in nutritional value chicken drums is high in protein and protein helps you to repair every cell in your body all right um we're talking about building building muscle we're talking about wound healing we're talking about any healing that your body does it needs protein okay so chicken drums contains that protein that you need to heal properly and like I said, the vegetables is just high in, in um, nutritional content also, and you need your vitamins and nutrients in order to stay healthy and alive. So that is a rough draft of a meal plan that you could follow in order to lose weight, all right? So number one thing that you need to be concerned about is your diet. Diet is the biggest influencer of your weight, okay? So make sure that you're eating healthy in order to lose weight. Now, the second thing that you need to be worrying about is exercising. Exercising 
is obvious. You need to stay active in order to burn the calories, all right, so that it won't be converted into fat, all right? Now, there's two types of exercises. Well, there's two ways to exercise in order to lose weight. The first one is long duration, low intensity exercises, and the second one is high intensity interval training, okay? Now, the long duration, low intensity exercises include, say, jogging, walking for a long period of time, um, biking for a long period of time, swimming, just any activity all right, that involves the same movement for a long period of time, like say over 30 minutes, all right, well at least 30 minutes. Now the high um, intensity interval training is exercises such as sprinting for 100 meters eight times, all right. That is high intensity training, which you need to exert a high amount of force and um, effort in order to perform the exercise, but it's in the short period, all right? So, for example, I um, run 100 meters eight times, all right? I rest in between sets, but in between sets, I rest only 10 seconds, and I'll sprint for 20 seconds, all right? So the whole um, exercise routine is about 20 minutes, but in those 20 minutes, I'll burn the same amount of calories as a person jogging for one hour, all right? So you can see the benefits of performing the high intensity interval training, but it most likely, well, it's a greater chance of you being injured when you perform the high intensity training all right so just make sure that you stretch all right you have to stretch in order to prevent any injuries all right guys well i really hope this video really helped you out all right i really hope that you have a clear understanding on the proper way to lose weight okay and i know it's summertime and you really want to have that perfect body so i'm here to help you guys out i have some programs coming all right, I have some awesome programs that I'm currently developing for you guys to help you meet your fitness goals. So stay tuned for that. All right, I, I have some calisthenic exercises coming up because I've been doing more calisthenic training. All right, like I'm not sure if you could tell, but I'm more defined and plus I'm stronger. Like my deadlifts is freaking 540 pounds now, but I'll shoot a video about that later. All right, guys. So. I'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed to that to this channel, to that channel, to this channel. <laughs> All right, and I'll see you next time. Peace.